So here you can see I've got my default group that I set up in the settings. So I've got breeders, etc., calves. I can have an instant look at any of those at any time. Uh, so this is the default group. So I've got 58 animals, the average weight, the minimum weight, the maximum weight. I've got a chart here uh, that breaks them down. So here I'm going to look at 100 kilogram sections. So here I can see I've got 14 animals below 100 kilos. 100 to 200, I've got 40. And then above, I've got three. So I've got 43 that I'm preparing for market. Here I've got a, another interface that I can look at in the different weight segments. Okay, so that's your initial look at your dashboard. Here I can look at the list of animals that I've got. So I can show that down to uh, any, uh, a better view. So I've got the 58 animals. That's all their electronic tags, their visual tags, their date, average day, daily gain uh, since they were last weighed, medical batch, uh, more details, and any notes regarding that animal. So I've got the full individual animal history there. So if I bring up uh, an individual animal, so I can either scan an electronic tag with one of our smart scanners uh, that will auto populate this number here into the search field and will bring up that animal's record or I can type in the animal's visual tag. So here I'll just bring up an example animal, B66. So that's a blue 66. So that's one of my steers. Click on the record, brings up the an animal's individual uh, weight chart here. I can see uh, the last three weight readings, the animal's electronic tag, the visual tag, the weight, the last medical batch, etc., the date of birth, the record date, any notes. So here I've got the weight readings. So here I can see the average daily gain since it was last weighed. So it was 200 grams, had a drench, boosted it up. It's now 1.142 kilos, doing fantastically well. Very happy with the performance here. Here I can see the full medical history. So I can look at, just click on this and this will show me vaccine. So it's had the seven in one, it's had a multi-min and it's had ivermectin pouring, uh, and that was in September, and then it's had a spray for ticks in, in um, October, and then it's had a uh, second vaccine, uh, and also some oral drench there as well too. So it gives me what dose, batch numbers, expiry, any withholding periods uh, that I need to monitor prior to sale. So I can see that this animal's had excellent medical history, uh, is up to date, and that's uh, corresponding with the weight history performance, uh, doing extremely well. Okay, so as soon as that animal comes into the yards, I've got the ability to uh, create an activity. So here I can do, I can add weight for the animal. So as soon as I enter a weight reading for that animal, that will automatically calculate uh, average daily gain since it was last weighed uh, and put that reading up there as well too. And it will give me the weight history there. So I can, as soon as that animal comes in, I can check that weight average daily gain see how it's performing and do any medical treatment if it's uh if it's not performing well adding the medical treatment so i can just add the batch select the batch that i've created before add any condition notes uh etc genetic health I've got the ability to add those uh, as well too so here i can add any notes about the animal if i you know if there's something that i want to add in there i can uh, do that and the date also works with things like the Apple Pencil. So if you don't like typing, you can just use a, um, the digital pencil. And you've got a master one that you can use as well too. You can mark as sold and you can create a medical batch through this interface as well too. Okay, so just going back to the dashboard, gives us that view. I'm gonna run into, uh, so that's just a bit of a quick overview on livestock. Oh, so with livestock, you can also do an advanced search. So advanced search is quite powerful. So you just click up here on the top right. So I can look, I can select the group. So if I wanna look at these guys and then I wanna look at particular weight range, I can bring up weight range. I wanna look at the particular medical batch, uh, anything that I wanna do there. Average daily gain, if I wanna look at that between uh, those ranges, I can do that too. So if, if it's, for example, a medical batch, if I wanna see all the animals that uh, have had that um, this range here and excluding that particular uh, date so I can run those and I can see which animals uh, have had uh, one vaccine or two vaccine it's very simple to do with that advanced search so quite a powerful way to to look at all of your different animals data <coughs> data etc and even looking at the, the average daily gain I can run uh, some analysis on there too. So if I want to look at 
Uh, so if they're running between 0.2 and 0.4. Okay, so there, there are all the animals that are running between that. So I've got 32 that are running. So I can, you can see that that advanced search enables you to check things like, you know, which animals have been vaccinated, which ones haven't been, uh, also the average daily gain, which are the top performers, which are the, the bottom performers, 